Hi guys, I hope you had a great day yesterday. Happy Thursday. Uh, just a reminder for a guest teacher, please pause or rewind this video whenever you need it. Um, we are reviewing for a benchmark, um, which is like our big test that we take. And so if the kids need to practice something again or hear something again, uh, please do so for them. Uh, if there's something missing, something that is not working, please send Henry to go find Senor McMahon and he can help us out. Isaac's gonna email me the top five students of each day for our surprise prize. Make sure you are participating fully and don't forget, go find a partner if your elbow or eyeball partner is not there. Person in the number three spot, make sure you go find someone to practice with. So phones away, Chromebooks closed, no reading books. We are totally focused, we're getting for our ready for our benchmark, which is on Tuesday. Let's get going. Okay, please make sure you finish this video, folks, before you start um, the next review day video, the 2U6.10 on Friday. So Rachel, what that means is I need to make sure that you find out the time that we get to in this video this Thursday and write it up on the board. And then on Friday, um, you need to make sure that the substitute gets you to that spot where you left off because you need to do this whole entire lesson. It's going to be super important for your success on the benchmark. And since I'm not there, I can't gauge how long things are going to take. So you guys are going to have to help out with that. Okay, today's I can. Ouvrez vos agendas, s'il vous plaît. Ouvrez vos agendas. Et on va écrire, I can discuss my city. I can discuss my city. Alors aujourd'hui, c'est l'anniversaire de Adrienne. Adrienne a 14 ans. Adriana, Kator's on. Um, Carlos, I already know you're dying to make sure he's wearing one of the birthday hats. Um, I think it's in the top drawer. If you ask and the sub says yes, you can get it out if Adrian wants to wear it. Otherwise, let's go ahead and sing Bon Anniversaire, cher Adrian. Okay, trois, deux, un, go. Bon Anniversaire à toi. Bon anniversaire à toi. Bon anniversaire, cher Adrian. Bon anniversaire à toi. Cha cha cha. Ooh la la. Bon anniversaire, Adrian. <coughs> okay, tiny cards pour aujourd'hui. You have five minutes. Vous avez cinq minutes. I want you to pick what you need to focus on most. What did you forget <laughs> over the break? Locations? recommendations, activities, comparing, or directions. I want you to pick one and work on it. If you're going through and it's like, oh yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, go ahead, pick another one, but I want you working on the vocabulary for the next five minutes. Guest teacher, please pause the video now and give students five minutes to work on tiny cards on their Chromebooks. Um, if you would like, Rachel can help you pause and play the video. She can also help you with the kitchen timers or there are a lot of other students who would love to do that. Okay, une révision. Répétez, s'il vous plaît. Répétez. C'est prêt? C'est loin? Oh là là. Guys, I feel like I'm at school. This one is uh, to begin our pirate ship map that we can't see. Alors, répétez, commencez. Allez. Tournez à droite. Tournez à gauche. Continuez tout droit. Arrêtez. Allez en arrière. La rue. Le carrefour. 
C'est à gauche. C'est à droite. C'est tout droite. C'est en arrière. Dans. Avant. Après. Excellent. Répétez, s'il vous plaît. Aujourd'hui, c'est jeudi le 3 janvier. Ok, today you are going to rewrite the following directions en français. Number one, start at the mall. Two, turn left at the second intersection. Three, continue straight for four blocks. Four, turn right in State Street. And five, the school is behind. Uh, guest teacher, please give students four minutes, pausing the video now for them to write in their packets on their focus. Okay, let's take a look, see how you did on these. Make sure you are correcting your paper. Numéro 1, commencez au centre commercial. Commencez au centre commercial. Numéro 2, tournez à gauche au deuxième carrefour. Tournez à gauche au deuxième carrefour. Numéro 3, continuez tout droit pour quatre rues. Continuez tout droit pour quatre rues. Numéro 4. Tournez à droite dans State Street. Tournez à droite dans State Street. Et numéro 5. L'école est en arrière. L'école est en arrière. Ok, fill out your traffic light. Rue jaune ou vert. I can give directions. Hopefully you're feeling pretty good on those. We are not going to focus on those today. We'll see some Friday and Monday. Um, right now, let's see what we forgot over break. Répétez, s'il vous plaît. Répétez. Un endroit. Un cinéma. Un restaurant. Une église. Une cathédrale. Un temple. Une place. Un centre-ville. Un centre commercial. Un stade. Un hôtel. Un musée. Une bibliothèque. Un théâtre. Un aéroport. Les montagnes. Un lac. Un parc. Un parc d'attraction. Un zoo. Un parc national. Okay, this would be the time. If you had a hard time with this vocabulary, feel like you need to go over it again, please do. I'm not going to go through what they mean. I assume you know that. But if you feel like you need to review them again, please rewind a little bit and go through these another time or two. If you are all in accord and you're feeling good, um, there is a quiz is. Uh, so, ouvrez vos Chromebooks et allez à join. Point quiz is point com. Game code is 271885. If that is not working, I also posted um, the link on Google Classroom, but it's going to be faster to go to join.quizis.com. Type in code 271885. Guest teacher, please pause the video now until most students are done with the quizzes. Students, please let the guest teacher know you are done and ready by closing your Chromebook so they know you have finished the game. Thank you.
Alrighty, hopefully you liked that game. It reviewed some things in your brains. Okay, répétez s'il vous plaît. Regardez en film. Assistez à un match. Voir des animaux. Voir une pièce de théâtre. Voir les illuminations de Noël. Faire du shopping. Faire une randonnée. Faire une promenade. Faire du camping. Faire du manège. Lire. Manger. Visiter. Voyager. Nanger. Pêcher. Explorer. Excellent. Okay, let's go to this. Um, en anglais, en anglais, qu'est-ce que c'est explorer? Good, to explore. Et pêcher? Exact, c'est comme pescar en espagnol, to fish. À nager? Yeah, we know that one. À voyager? Good, to travel, we know that one too. À visiter? To sightsee or to visit. Bien. Et manger? Excellent. Lire? Bien. To read. Et faire du manège? To ride on like an amusement park ride. Faire du camping? Good. Camping. Faire une promenade? To go for a walk or to go for a stroll. Faire une randonnée. To go for a hike or to go hiking. Good. <coughs> Faire du shopping. Excellent. Voir les illuminations de Noël. See the Christmas lights. Good. Raise your hand if you went and saw the Christmas lights in Salt Lake. Mm, a few of you. Nice. Avoir une pièce de théâtre. To see a play. Voir des animaux. No, not to see one of you. To see animals. Assister à un match. To attend a game. And we could add un match de foot, un match de football américain, un match de basket, etc. Uh, regarder un film. To watch a movie. Excellent. Let's go through these again. Répétez. Regarder un film. Assister à un match. Voir des animaux. Voir une pièce de théâtre. Voir les illuminations de Noël. Faire du shopping. Faire une randonnée. Faire une promenade. Faire du camping. Faire du manège. Lire. Manger. Visiter. Voyager, nager, pêcher, explorer. Okay, we have another quiz is, 
Uh, ouvrez vos Chromebooks encore et allez à join.quizzes.com, game code 436574. Uh, again, game code is 436574. Please chrome, close your Chromebooks uh, when you are done with the game to let our guest teacher know that we are ready to move on. Uh, guest teacher, please pause this video. When most students are done, you don't have to wait for everyone. Go ahead and uh, press play to continue the video. Okay. Répétez classe, s'il vous plaît. Intéressant. Divertissant. Le meilleur. Le pire, populaire, nul, amusant, barbant, important, un important, bruyante, tranquille, grande, petit, Dégoutant, délicieux, bon marché, cher. Okay, um, hopefully you know what those mean. If not, um, instead of going through them one more time, you can say what they mean for other students in the class. Um, so check around, see, do you all know what they mean or do we need to go over that? Okay, if you decided, let's go through these one more time. Uh, so, répéter, if we just need to go through them. Uh, if we don't know what they are for everyone, make sure um, you guys are doing this in English instead. Okay. Bon marché, cher. Dégoutant, délicieux. Grande, petit. Bruyante, tranquille. Important. Un important. Amusant. Barbant. Populaire. Nul. Le meilleur. Le pire. Intéressant. Divertissant. Excellent. Alors, répétez s'il vous plaît pour regarder en film. Je recommande le cinéma Megaplex parce que c'est bon marché. Bien, so for watching movies, I recommend the cinéma Megaplex because it's a good deal or it's inexpensive. Répétez, pour assister à un match de foot, je recommande le stade Rio Tinto. Parce que c'est cool. Okay, so for attending a soccer game, I recommend uh, the Rio Tinto Stadium because it's cool. Répétez pour faire du shopping. Je recommande le Centre Commercial City Creek. Parce que c'est populaire. Okay, so for shopping, I recommend uh, the Mall City Creek because it's popular. Alors, on va jouer éclair. So, I want you to get with your elbow partner and you are going to ask and answer as many questions as possible before the timer runs out. So, one of you will ask, qu'est-ce que tu recommandes pour voyager? And then you'll say, pour voyager, je recommande uh, l'aéroport parce que c'est populaire or something like that. Qu'est-ce que tu recommandes? And then um, you'll ask them, qu'est-ce que tu recommandes um, pour regarder un film? And you'll say, pour regarder un film, je recommande uh, le théâtre Le cinéma, je m'excuse, Kaysville Theater, parce que c'est bon marché. And you'll go back and forth like that for one minute. See how many you can get through. So let's practice our sentence frames. Répétez, s'il vous plaît. Répétez. Qu'est-ce que tu recommandes pour... Bien. Répétez. Qu'est-ce que tu recommandes pour lire 
Bien. Répétez pour lire. Je recommande la bibliothèque. Parce que c'est tranquille. All right. Uh, guest teacher, you will now pause the video. Uh, set a kitchen timer for 60 seconds. Let um, the students know when you're ready to start that timer. And once you do start it, they'll ask each other questions back and forth for the minute. And then I would say um, probably practice this at least two times. You can ask them if they need a third time or if they are feeling good and ready to move on. So please pause the video now. Okay, merci. Asseyez-vous, s'il vous plaît. Ça va bien? Ça va comme si, comme ça, ou ça va mal? Ça va bien? Ça va comme si, comme ça? D'accord. Alors, bien. Répétez, s'il vous plaît, premier. Puis. Après ça. Plus tard. Enfin. Bien. So, class, what does premier mean? First. Et puis. Then. Après ça. After that. Plus tard. Later. Enfin. Finally. Okay, for example, using these, we could say premier, pour explorer, je recommande le musée Leonardo parce que c'est amusant. So first, for exploring, I recommend uh, the Leonardo Museum because it's fun. Puis, pour visiter, je recommande la bibliothèque parce que c'est tranquille. Okay, so then, um, for like exploring or sight, Sightseeing, I recommend the library because it is quiet. Uh, après ça, pour manger, je recommande le restaurant Lion House parce que c'est populaire. So after that, for eating, I recommend the restaurant Lion House because it's popular. You're gonna be popular. Add or I'm sure like one of you got that reference. Okay, plus <laughs> tard, pour faire du shopping et pour faire une randonnée, je recommande le centre commercial City Creek parce que c'est divertissant. Okay, you can tell by the length we are definitely getting into the four range here. So later for shopping and for walking around or taking a stroll, I recommend um, the mall City Creek because it's entertaining. Et enfin, pour voir une pièce de théâtre, je recommande le théâtre Capital parce que c'est le meilleur. So finally, for seeing a play, I recommend uh, the Capital Theater because it's the best. So we are going to be doing this, but let's go over um, what gets us a one, two, three, four. Remember, we're all shooting for threes or fours. Uh, so if you gave me something like red iguana, parce que c'est délicieux, that would be a one. A two would look something like this. Je recommande le restaurant red iguana. A three would be, uh, je recommande le restaurant red iguana, parce que c'est délicieux et populaire. A 3.5 would be, um, like saying, pour manger, je recommande le restaurant Red Iguana parce que c'est délicieux et populaire. And to get a 4, you need to have a ordering word along with your 3.5. So from our 3 to our 3.5, we added pour manger. Our 3.5 to our 4, we added an ordering word. We still have the pour manger and our reason why. 
Okay, so a four would be something like Puis, pour manger, je recommande le restaurant Red Iguana parce que c'est délicieux et populaire. Okay, so then for eating, I recommend the restaurant Red Iguana because it's delicious and popular. So we have ordering, what we can do there, what we recommend, what kind of place it is, a restaurant, and why. You need all of those things to get yourself a four. Okay, plan a date for Sean. This may or may not be based on a Sean that we may or may not know collectively as a class who may or may not have a girlfriend, but I want you to plan a date for Sean and his girlfriend. Uh, so what's going to happen is this is going to be uh, in your packet, well, the additional worksheet pages that you have gotten. And it's going to be page says, page 16. So there is a spot for the date. So what's going to happen is the guest teacher is going to set a timer anywhere from like 30 seconds to one minute. You are going to start planning and writing this date for Sean. So you are going to use the sentence frames. They have our ordering right here. Okay. And then they have four activity. So you got to pick the activity and then I recommend what kind of place and what place is it? And then you're going to say why you recommend that place. And you can give a couple of reasons why if you want. Um, you're going to start at the beginning, premier, do all of that, then number two, three, four, five, and so on. So here's where it's going to get crazy. Um, guest teacher is going to have that timer anywhere from 30 seconds to one minute. Once the timer goes off, you need to pass your paper clockwise. Um, we're just doing this at our table, so you'll pass it clockwise in your tables, and you will read what has been written so far, and then you will write again. Uh, again, the guest teacher will put on another timer uh, for a different time or if you want to just keep on doing a minute, you can do that. That's fine, too. And then you're going to repeat. So you're going to do this um, for at least five times, so like at least five minutes, um, and for your paper to get back for you. Um, make sure you're reading so you're not having them do the same activity. Or if they've already eaten, um, don't send them somewhere else to eat. Okay, unless like maybe you're sending them somewhere for dessert. But if they've already been to Panda Express, don't send them to McDonald's or something like that. Okay, <laughs> let's be serious and make sure we're not like doing doubles. So like no going to two movies, no going to two dinners. Like you have to think of something else. So go ahead, pause the video now, uh, make sure you're on page 16, get as far as you can writing. Um, when the timer goes off, pass that paper clockwise. And we're ça va bien, ça va comme ci comme ça ou ça va mal. Okay, I know I'm super excited to read these. Okay, let's move on to talking about favorites. Répétez, s'il vous plaît. Un endroit? Mon endroit préféré? So, my favorite place. Répétez dans le temps? À Salt Lake City. Répétez, quel est ton endroit préféré et pourquoi? Répétez, quel est ton endroit préféré et pourquoi? And to answer that, we'd say something like, répétez, mon endroit préféré et, and then we'd say the place, parce que c'est, and then we'd give our reason. Adore. Okay. If you just write me Hogozu et amusant, congratulations, you got a one. Mon préféré et Hogozu parce que amusant et populaire. You told me my favorite is Hogozu because fun and popular. Hooray, you got yourself a two. 
This is what we're shooting for, bare minimum. Mon endroit préféré, my favorite location, à Salt Lake City, in Salt Lake, or dans l'Utah, let's be specific, uh, a Hogel Zoo, parce que c'est amusant et populaire. So we're giving two reasons why it's our favorite. And then we're saying what we like to do there. J'aime voir des animaux à Hogel Zoo. So we used those activities that we learned to say, I like to do this at location. Uh, four, we're going to add a couple more details. So we still have that same beginning sentence. Mon endroit préféré à Salt Lake City, a Hogel Zoo, parce que c'est amusant et populaire. Um, but then we're saying what Hogel Zoo is. I know it's repetitive, but it helps us write in paragraphs. So Hogel Zoo est un zoo. And then we're writing what we like to do at Hogel Zoo and why, which is bumping us up to that four. J'aime voir des animaux. À Hogel Zoo parce que c'est divertissant. Okay, so let's give it a go. Your favorite place in Utah, if you don't have one, make one up. So, quel est ton endroit préféré et pourquoi? This example is an example if you follow will get you a four. So, mon endroit préféré dans l'Utah est blank parce que c'est blank et blank. Then location A is a, what kind of thing is it? Un théâtre? Un parc d'attraction, un restaurant, someone from out of the country is not going to know. Then we're telling them, jam, I like to do activity at location. More details, like I put on été in the summer, parce que, and we're saying why we like to do that activity. Okay, this is also on page 16 in the new pages you got, so please go ahead and begin writing, you have three minutes. Please pause the video and give students three minutes to complete their My Favorite Place in Utah writing. Alrighty, how did we do talking about our favorite place? Ça va bien? Ça va comme si, comme ça, ou ça va mal. Okay, even if you're ça va bien, you're not going to have the sentence frames, um, which means I need you to practice this and make sure you're able to do it without those. Okay, so ideas for studying at home right there. And we're on to comparisons. Répétez à mon avis. Et plus que, et moins que, répétez, et meilleur que, et aussi que. Good, so let's go over what these mean. So, à mon avis, means in my opinion, et plus blank que is more something than, et moins blank que is less something than, a meilleur que is better than, a aussi blank que is as something as the other place we're comparing it to. For example, we could say, à mon avis, in my opinion, la Tour Eiffel est meilleur que Notre Dame. So in my opinion, Eiffel Tower is better than Notre Dame. We could say something like this in our paragraph. Notre Dame est plus belle que la Tour Eiffel. So Notre Dame is more beautiful than the Eiffel Tower. Or maybe Notre Dame est moins grande que la Tour Eiffel. So Notre Dame is smaller than the Eiffel Tower. Uh, or maybe Notre Dame est aussi important que la Tour Eiffel. Notre Dame is as important as the Eiffel Tower. That would work as well. Okay, avec votre partenaire doy, on va parler. So you're going to both share, à mon avis, blank est meilleur que blank. Um, guest teacher, if I go through these too fast, if they don't both have time to talk, um, just pause for each slide so that they have enough time to share. So, à mon avis, blank est meilleur que blank. 
avec votre partenaire d'oeil. 3, 2, 1, go! Switch. We're doing plus something que now. 3, 2, 1, go. Excellent. Now we're using a moins blank que. 3, 2, 1, go. Okay, switch. We're doing a aussi blank que. Trois, deux, un, go. Ok, très bien. Already, répétez à mon avis. Et meilleur que. Et plus blank que. Et moins blank que. Et aussi blank que. Okay, we are going to use these à uh, page, page 13. Turn it à la page 13, s'il vous plaît. On va écrire. I know, sorry, there's a lot of writing. Our benchmark is writing, though. So, you have four minutes. You're going to write as many sentences as you can, comparing this is the place, Heritage Park, and Le Cinema Megaplex. Okay, if you haven't been to either just... Pretend like you have. You have lots of different describing words that you can use that are listed. And then you also have your sentence frames for writing. I want you to write as many as you can in four minutes. Guest teacher, please pause the video and give students four minutes to work on this writing. Page 13 in their packets. Okay. Alrighty, we are going to do rapid fire comparisons. Um, let's go ahead and I think play this twice. So don't do it yet. But what you're going to do is you're going to stand up and go back to back with someone. And once you're all back to back, you're going to turn around and shifu me. Come dab. Um, winner starts and you're doing comparisons between This is the Place Heritage Park and Le Cinema Megaplex. Um, if you want to shorten uh, This is the Place Heritage Park to just Le Park, that is fine with me. Um, person who is speaking when the timer goes off loses. Again, we are going to do this for two rounds. Uh, guest teacher, please have students go back to back once they all have a partner. Have them turn around, they'll rock, paper, scissors, decide who goes first, and then start a timer for one minute. When that timer goes off, students will know if they have won or if they have lost. Um, you will repeat this two times, so on the second time they'll find a new partner.
Okay, that concludes um, the totality of our first part of our review. I'm guessing you are probably on Friday to get here. If you got here on Thursday, awesome job, well done. Um, so if you got to this point on Friday, please start the next video to you six um, dot ten review two. Nice work, guys.